what happened between LeBron and Tristan after Paul's three looked like LeBron was upset with Tristan's defense? Well, that shows you that we care about our defense. <laughs> <laughs> I had good intentions, but, you know, a little bit too, too demonstrative at that point in the game. Uh, so, you know, I can't show up my teammates, that's for sure, especially uh, Double T works hard for our team, and he's, uh, he's a big-time player for our team, so. We want to try to top lock him, which Brown was doing a good job of being physical, you know, on his body. But then he would go back door and shake, and then come back off. And Tristan, you know, you top lock, and the big supposed to drop. So when he comes back off the screen, he wasn't able to get up fast enough. So, um, you know, Paul George, you know, he's a, he's a great player, and he, you know, he made some shifty moves, and you know, he got up and made some big shots. So to make it clear, Tristan's responsibility on that particular play was to drop instead of go up. Well, Bron's gonna be in the top lock to drop to protect and then get back up. If, okay. he, if Bron gets hit, then we want an emergency switch out. But I mean, it happened too fast, and you know, just something happened. He made a shot. I had good intentions on what I what I wanted to happen, but the way it came out was uh, probably don't look good on TV. So. Did you guys sort it out, Bron? Who? You and Tristan. I apologize. It's cool. You know, they both was mad and frustrated. What you want to see? We wanted to win that game. Um, it was a big play and um, some miscommunication right there. And um, you know, they, but they got over it.